I showed a family member what uh, you can do with the rooted phone, and now she wants me to root her phone. So I'm using Wi-Fi Teether on my Transform to download everything I need onto the Epic. Right now, the Epic is not rooted, and it is completely stock with Android 2.2.1 on it. Okay, so on the forum, there's links to the drivers that you need, and I installed them. And the phone came up, and driver said successful, so I downloaded this one-click root exploit, and now I'm going to run it. it says, busy box by skier, press any key to continue. Are you just going to leave them all to them? Yeah. You don't care? They'll eventually stop. Huh? They'll eventually stop. <laughs> phone is not <laughs> connected. <laughs> Only give one at a time though, okay? Okay. Oh, debugging. Hold on. I gotta turn on debugging. And a we're debugging. Yes. Cool, okay. Now we plug the phone in. I don't have my tripod or anything because it's kinda like a spur of the moment thing. Do you need a tripod? No, I I have one right there. Huh. It's underneath my desk. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. I don't have to have one. But thank you. Amazon. Searching Windows Update. We want the more. There we go. Mama, we want the more. We want the more. Okay, so the driver is officially installed. So, we will press the button again. There we go. I unplugged the phone, plugged it back in, and now it says, wait for the phone to reconnect. Okay, after doing a whole lot of clicking and a whole lot of retrying, it starts scrolling a bunch of crap. Oh, phone's resetting. Abby got a little a big planet thing in her little kitchen. Okay, now the phone's rebooting. It says cleaning up files. It's a little picture frame. I wish I got the uh, unlimited edition or the special edition of Little Big Planet too, because it came with the little puppet. Hey, Pressing the key. Ooh. After you click run.bat, it's going to say the ADB connection needs to be reset and to re-log into ADB. Uh, I wasn't doing anything, so I unplugged the phone and plugged it back in and tried again. Just don't touch it. After you click run and you hit enter, do not touch anything. If it doesn't work, restart your phone and try again. Like, I'll hit the button and it starts successfully. Right here, do not unplug your phone. Just keep it plugged in, and it should eventually do something. If it doesn't, restart your phone. See? There you go. It's waiting for the phone to reconnect. I didn't touch the phone. And then, eventually, come on. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first. It, this didn't work at first. I restarted the phone, and ooh, there you go. All this stuff right here started showing up. <laughs> Installing clockwork recovery. Read finished. <laughs> and now the phone's rebooting. <laughs> and it'll say press key to exit. I had to redo this video, so that's why it's already rooted, but this is how you would root it. And hit enter. And phone reboot. And now... Applications. Super user. That's my video on how to root the Samsung Epic 4G. And going, no, mar, can't go to the market. Go to the web browser. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. 
and I'm going to go Google real quick. Hold on. Uh, you get to see that I'm in Oberlin Park, Kansas, because that's where I'm at. Why? Why? Teaser. The city that I'm in. They don't know who you are. Nobody's watching this is gonna go, hey, I know her. Uh, I don't still don't want anything. With Downloads. Does it have your address? It's cross streets. No. Okay. It says over the park. Okay. Just making sure it wasn't like a map of cross streets. No. 3.0 pre 10. And it should start downloading when I click that. Da, 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 da. Boogie butt. You know you don't have your three your four G on. Is that a reason? Kills my battery. Okay, I'm just saying. I turn it on whenever I use it. Settings allows no sources. Just back. Click it again. Install. <laughs> Open. Close. Menu. Settings, go to device profile, change it to Epic 4G. And then I change the channel always to like, I'll do 10 and the land to 192.168.0. Vibrate, battery temperature, Fahrenheit. And disable wake lock. Okay. Now we'll start teethering and see if there's any errors. Granite super user. Menu. Show log. No errors. Although I'm going to change the name of the hotspot to Epic Teether. I stood her on it and it had an E. It just kept showing up at E. Did you touch it, like tap it, let it go to zero, and then put her on it? I know you just did it. I didn't do it. I didn't have to do it when I stood on it. <laughs> you might have actually bumped it first. You know what? I'm gonna I'm enable ready. 4G and then I'm gonna try this again because there's 4G here. <laughs> Just enable 4G. Got, I think, two bars. Over in the park is a pretty good connection. Um, go back to that Wi-Fi okay. teaser. And then hit teaser. Okay, so now we're gonna connect to this one. She said, "Hey, wait for me." Stop using my phone and using. I'm gonna use the Epic 4G Teether. Oh, it's a true hotspot. Your phone's a true hotspot. Mine's an ad hoc. Well, it has a hotspot. I know. So now that you're rooted, you don't have to pay the thirty dollar fee. Sweet. Come on, connect. It's only twenty dollars. So you don't pay twenty dollars. You get it for free. And dog Troubleshoot problems. And you know, you say that My freaking wireless cards, piece of crap. <laughs> this thing. Like, I always have to reset like, it when I'm using my phone. Yeah, the there we go. All right, now it's gonna re. Now it's gonna actually work. This thing should buzz. Mm -hmm. Yep. My phone's connected to the Samsung Epic. And I change it to home network. But I need to put a link to how to do this. What's the first thing you do with the rooted Samsung Epic 4G or Android phone period? Install titanium backup and then do run and do backup all user apps and system data and then it does this right here and it's backing up everything. I loaded my text file on there and it is the pro donate version. Before I start messing around too much, I'm going to go ahead and make an Android backup just 
to be safe. And then people ask me about this quick boot app that reboots your phone into recovery and bootloader and hot boot, that's the plus version. And I need recovery. Now I can hit recovery, grant it root access one time, and the phone should boot into clockwork recovery. Should. I said should. There we go. And then. Android backup. Where is it? Backup and restore. Menu. It's not menu? Is it? Okay, which one is it? The home? You better join my. I'm trying to figure out what button it is. Is it the power button? No. Is there any other buttons in the phone? Camera? Okay, it's camera. Hit the camera button. Back up. The camera button. Is there two buttons? No, it's just one. Alright, we'll hit it again. Alright, cool. Now it's doing an Android backup. Titania backup, I went to backup oh, she's restore. Not scared. She's nice. Edit filters, added sprint, and clicked apply. And all the sprint apps showed up. And she wanted Sprint Football, Sprint Zone, Sprint TV, Widget, that gone. And you can uninstall any any app you wanted to. Be careful though, because if you try to uninstall a system app, it'll warn you. Because some system apps are needed for your phone to work. But some phones come with demos and Sprint apps that you don't ever use. And you want to get rid of that are just wasting space. And you can uninstall them with Titanium Backup. Thank you for watching. Please rate and subscribe. Please take a second out of your day to click the like button. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing and have a nice day.